Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Monday here. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So, today is the first movie request from a Hallow Beans winner. Ashley, you're thinking Hallow Beans is in October. Well, listen, a girl is doing her best, and here we are. Now, I will say this request comes to you from High Ice 007 down in the comments, Wayne in real life. And let me tell you something. Wayne has been on the Hot Mess Express probably at about the time I got started because Wayne sent me literally um, an Iron Eagle poster for my very first unboxing two and a half years ago. So Wayne has been waiting for this one. I remember when I pulled his name out, well, actually when Beans chose his name for the Hello Beans giveaway, I thought to myself, this man about to get me to watch Iron Eagle. What'd I tell you? I emailed him, hey buddy, what you got for me? They got the same rules as Millennial Movie members did. Hello Beans winners can pick any movie of any year, of any genre, and I gotta watch it. And like his immediate response, Iron Eagle. I still have the poster somewhere. I don't think I have it up. But anyways, I have the poster. Wayne has been waiting for this one. This is his request. I know uh, in the email, I don't know if it's a war movie or like an airplane movie because he talked about how much I enjoyed Top Gun and he gave me like airplane facts and I don't remember right them right now and I don't have the email pulled up. So I don't know if this is a war movie or if this is more Top Gun-y like friendship airplanes and the occasional pew pews. But I guess we're going to find out together. So no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday brought to you by Halloween, Hello Beans winner. Uh, High Ice 007, and that is Iron Eagle from the year 1986. System check. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little bit better than okay. I mean, you're right. So far, this the beginning is giving me Top Gun vibes. You know, I know they're flying through clouds and clouds are not a solid object. That's still scary. Okay, so this is just the intro credits. Like, when you are training to become a pilot, what is it like to fly your first thing by yourself? Isn't that terrifying? Start coming hard. Climb to 23,000 feet. I want to keep an angle on him. Wow, look at that. Like, what's it like to turn that sharp? That's crazy. You are violating our territorial airspace. What the hell are they talking about? Hit <laughs> shot, <laughs> Oh, they're shooting. Roger, Colonel. Two MiGs, four o'clock. Watch your tail, Lieutenant. I'm coming around. So I guess you put on the mask whenever you're like making a lot of quick changes in altitude and oxygen pressure or atmospheric pressure. Full send. Nice! Bandit turning in tight. He's upside down. Lieutenant, pull it up. I've been hit. I'm dropping fuel fast. Well, you should have pulled up. I don't think that's what he's saying, but mo probably. How do you not throw up? Were you hit? Oh, yep, turbine failure. That'll do it. You were supposed to meet Tony and Reggie 20 minutes ago. Look at that phone. It disappeared before I have to pound you. Okay, yeah, you could definitely take him. I believe it. Yeah, she does look nice. I look gross. No, you're a little cutie. Yeah, it's a miracle he's graduating at all. Thanks a lot, Runt. He just complimented you, you little brat. Well, aren't you gonna wait for the mail? Today could be the day. Today could be the day for what? What is that? A police scanner? Is that some kind of old way to hook up a cassette player in a car that doesn't have a cassette player? Is that what that was? That's a nice car. Aviators, you gotta have them. That's a cute ass Mustang. I want it real bad. Pretty soon, if you don't show up on time, they're gonna shoot you behind. <laughs> wow. Who are these here ruffians pulling up? What were they doing to you? Oh, 
was just coming over the bridge and they all came up behind me. Oh, they were messing with a girl. Okay, please. It takes two guys to hold him back. I don't believe it. I figured maybe she might realize she deserves more from life than some pussy Air Force. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, if Sheriff Pingo finds out you've been fighting again, you're going to be put in jail till your dad comes back. D. Hold on. If a sheriff finds out and they're on a base, are they military kids? Or in a military school? You know, you sound like a broken record. You got snake on the brain. Didn't you learn nothing from the last time with Branson? What happened last time with Branson? Is that Jan from The Office? The best new applicant for the pilot training program is... Did you get in? Not Thug Masters. <gasps> he got rejected. The grade point average? I mean, we're talking subterranean range here. <laughs> One of special interest to all you military personnel out there. Little Dougie Masters has regretfully been denied admission to the Air Force. Oh, that's awful! He's making fun of a guy who wants to be in the Air Force. What do you do other than ride a dirt bike? Dog, you'll get killed! Just like Jimmy Branson did! Oh, well that's, that's reassuring and very foretelling. The Phillips head, boy. The Phillips head. Yeah, even I know what a Phillips head is. What are you doing making my mixer so rich? How low you have to keep it to the ground? Can you trust this man? He clearly knows what he's doing because he knows what you're trying to do. If it went into a stall, you'd have lost your engine and never would have been able to pull it out. It must have been what happened to Jimmy. That's what happened to the Branson kid, all right? Oh. Damn. Show couldn't tell him after they peeled him off that cliff. That's so graphic. Peeled him off the cliff. As long as he sticks under the 50-foot height limit you guys agreed to. 50-foot height limit? Do a loop through Dragon Canyon and end up back here at the airfield. You got that? He's gonna make sure Masters doesn't pull up if it gets a little too scary. So dude is on a dirt bike racing a man in a plane. You know what, I'm gonna say it. Iron Eagle and Top Gun are going head to head for who has the best soundtrack, all right? In my book, for me. That music is jamming, D. After those rocks. When the world was telling me how to live my okay, so it's an airplane versus a dirt bike with a 50 foot height limit, that's crazy. Oh, the airplane, jeez Louises, I need him to get it together. Red, don't you feel like flying today? Oh, flying, yes. Dying, no. <laughs> Same. He was supposed to stick to the main road, that's not fair. Devil's face, let me see it. Oh my God. That was straight up! And a barrel roll, fun. A little razzle dazzle. You making some close calls. But what do I know about flying an airplane? Nothing. White smoke's pouring out of your manifold! What does the smoke mean? He had me adjust his oil cap. Doug, nod your head, pack or loosen your pressure cap, land a plane. They malfunction an airplane to try and win this race. That is not fair. And they didn't even stick to the rules they agreed upon. You can beat him. You can beat him. You can beat him. And if you can't beat him, land on him. Y'all got a cute little finish line and everything. What a big deal. Come on. Come on. You're an airplane. You got this. You got this. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be a photo finish. That a dirt bike man's going to get in that propeller. Land it. Land it, land it, land it, La land it, please. Rough landing fly, baby. See, I was gonna say, now he's just gonna roast you for the landing. It's pretty funny. What is on his leg? <laughs> he's had that coming for a long time. Doug, you've gotta come with me now. It's your dad. You gotta get back to the base. Whoa, what happened? He's been shot down. Oh! Well, didn't they even tell you what they were doing, flying so near to the coastline? It's probably top secret. Is Colonel Blackburn in there? Hey, hey, you can't go! You can't just do that! Hold on, look at these computers and stuff. You mean to tell me that's the technology our military was using to protect us? <laughs> Hell, it's a bunch of nonsense, really. Well, I got the time. Start. Now, I'm gonna get my tip in the ringer if the general catches me showing you this stuff. So keep your mouth shut. I'm gonna get my tit in the ringer? 
Is that what he said? Because they claim a 200-mile limit right about out to here. We only recognize 12. <laughs> That's very different. <laughs> you get old Admiral Wutz's nuts on a horn right now. <laughs> Admiral Wutz's nuts. Christ, we're holding all the aces, and they act like all we got is a pair of twos waiting on a face card. Maybe if you know something about poker, you understand what he just said, but I don't. Washington knows it's bullshit. State Department thinks it's a bluff. Oh, they're holding his dad to put him on trial. Oh. We've been embargoing trade to him for years. They're probably using this to get us to lift it. Oh, this is like a layered thing happening. The young boy has fabulous hair. Those flybacks are pristine. How much Aquanet did he use? I gotta call Katie and tell her I'm not going tonight. You have to go to the prom! This lady looks like a great value Meryl Street. I can't see anything past the glasses. Them some big glasses. Now we got this guy in the Oval Office who don't take shit from no gimpy little countries. So who are we talking about? We call him Ronnie Reagan. Oh, Reagan. Ronnie Reagan. Shut up. That's hilarious. Take a whiff. Go ahead. <laughs> I could see that set up from a mile away, sir. You are allowed a statement on your behalf. This court is a fraud. That's a clear statement. We make the laws in this country. We are not subject to your ridiculous. Okay, but you make the laws in that country, but literally it was in international airspace. International airspace. What? Bring back this kind of dancing. I don't know what it's called, but I want to do it. Yes, baby, get into it. Done, done, they win. King and queen of prom. Take it away. Well, that's not good. Doug, they've already held the trial and they found your dad guilty. Okay, but that's not gonna happen. The USA gonna step in and kick ass. They're gonna sit down and take this crap, are they? Well, nothing's being planned as far as I know, but my dad thinks they can work something out. No rescue missions being planned? Colonel, don't lie to me. Are you guys planning something or not? Planning negotiations. Why the jacket with cutoff sleeves? Like, why wear it? Marty, I was wondering if you could slip me in. Slip you into what? Doug, just keep cool about this. Oh, is it like a little simulator? <clears throat> what is that thing? Yeah, enemy destroyed. So in a simulator, is the whole thing moving? Or is it like this where it's like just the screen and you're doing the things? Oh, roll, roll. Oh, uh, you have to stand a direct hit just like your dad. Oh man. Have a nice day. Would you like to play a game of chess? <laughs> Y'all heard that right. That was a War Games reference. I know you're proud of me. All that fancy maneuvering will do you no good if you don't watch what those two guys flying up your behind is gonna do to you. That's that guy who's working on the plane. Sorry, Colonel. Afraid we used up all your time. We're okay. We'll catch you next week. You got it. Colonel fixed the plane and he took up Colonel's time in the simulator? That's not good. Because fixing airplanes is something I like to do. Anything Any more questions? <laughs> yeah? Well, if more people were like him, he wouldn't be stuck over there. You better watch yourself. Watch what you're saying. Well, what do you think we ought to do about it? Launch some missiles? Go to war over it? No, of course not. Okay, then. So they're doing the other options. What do you think it would take? It's take a hell of a lot more than you got, you. But wait a minute. Are they planning a secret undercover mission that nobody else knows about but them two? Being friends with someone's a lot different than risking your life for them. True. True. They'll do a hell of a lot more than you think. They just won't know they're doing it. See, you can't do that! Are you wired enough to get me a couple of pilots, too? I can get you one. Him! He's gonna fly and save his dad! That's gonna be fun! But do you think flying in an F-16 in aerial combat is the same as that snake you flew yesterday? I mean, at least you know he has fast reflexes. The simulator is good enough to train them and they're out there defending the whole goddamn country. Okay, good, good point by him. 
I've already missed my simulator time. I'm not going to miss my flight time. I gotta go. Well, let me go with you. Are those kind of planes two-seaters? You're no different than anyone else. That's not nice. Don't be mean to the only person who's willing to help you right now. Look at me when I talk to you. Oh, oh, you in trouble now. I would cry. I've given this country 22 damn fucking years of my life. Huh? Why did he say little fucking years? God damn it, nobody talks to me like this. I'm not gonna start now. Good for you. Good for you. Somebody needs to put this little kid in his place. That was just the beginning. He needs more than a stern talking to. It was good as you got. <laughs> okay, I know I'm saying this prematurely because we're only like half an hour in. This is giving me Top Gun mixed with the teenage angst of Kevin Bacon and Footloose. Oh, Colonel, I think I may have a problem with my receiver. I heard some music up there. Oh, you about to get in trouble again. It won't happen again. You bet your ass it won't happen again. That's the last time you go up with me. I've had it. Ooh. Come on, Dad. Don't come on me, Dad. I don't want to hear it. Look. Don't come on me, Dad. <laughs> That's dirty. I'm sorry. Understood, sir. May I ask the Colonel a question, sir? Don't be a smart ass. This is the time to believe in ourselves or leave our dreams behind. Thank you. Mm, that's a good quote. This is the time to believe in ourselves or leave our dreams behind. She really just let her kid walk off. Didn't even ask where she was going. Your dad's been sentenced. To what? Three days. Three days? In jail? They're gonna hang you. That's very different than what I thought. I think we can help him. How? I think I know a way. You're gonna go in? You gonna steal a plane from the United States Air Force? Let me know how that goes for you. Look at that prison. Just when you thought prisons couldn't get any worse, then you see prisons everywhere else. I'll give him the confession. I'll shove it up his ass. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Reason number 9,227 that I couldn't be in the military because dude would be like, yeah, I need you to sign this confession. Tell me, say less, buddy. Sign it. Send me home. If we don't come up with it, I don't think he's got much of a chance. Stand by me, crew. Goes, <laughs> goes into the Air Force. That's what's happening here. Yeah, then we won't get behind. It is urgent that we need to get this out and not lose time. And you're just going to steal some of that information. Good for you, little kid. Not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. Also, if you have never heard Twisted Sisters Christmas album, A Twisted Christmas, you're missing out. Great album. My sister said to ask you to do it for her. Oh. Uh, she really talking about me? <laughs> for sure. They're for sure lovers. They're closeted lesbians. Oh no, we can get it. Oh, don't be silly. I got time. <laughs> well, are they sisters? I feel weird now that I said what I said and I think they're sisters. Glad you brought these down. <laughs> Mom tried to starve me to death on the new That's me. That's you want information out of me? Give me cookies. 80s had some of the best music. People my age can crucify me for it. The 80s had some of the best music. I got the aerial recon of everything those bastards got over there. So classified information that you're not supposed to have. <laughs> when did you work this up? Last night. When I heard about that trial. He's been making a plan. That's so nice. Something about maniacs messing with good men that always piss me off. Same. I have that same pet peeve. Just like Samuel L. Jackson, you gotta sing what you've done to remember that you did it. How can you think with that music on? The same way you do, weirdo. Shake your groove thing, baby! Ain't no shame in your game. The name of the place. <laughs> done, just like that. We're working and running? I can't even do running. How many times do I have to tell you to stop interrupting me when I'm thinking? Relatable. Is this man going to be on a date having the student do work while he's there? Or maybe they're just having dinner. We going to use the Italian food to plan our flight path? The second plane is going to sneak in. 
Second plane? What do you mean? You, baby. You, baby. He's sorry about Aww. this, so we'll get things set up for you right away, Colonel. Colonel, ah, that's so nice. Well, he won't have to be anymore. We're gonna bust him out of there like a bat out of hell. Hey, hey. Hell yeah, boy. After tomorrow, he's only got one day left. No I was about to say, we wasted today doing some research. We got to go. Same time on the tarmac. Tomorrow. So he's got to find a whole bunch of things that I don't know what they are and then show up at that time tomorrow on the tarmac. Got it. Or else we ain't going nowhere, boy. Ooh, it's testing time. I'm looking forward to seeing you handle death. Ooh. Ooh. Also, again, that guy was getting beat up and still not giving away military secrets. Meanwhile, I cry if you yell at me. <laughs> Your name's not in the list. Let me check this with flight control. Oh, that, that's not necessary. Oh, it's necessary. He's got... Oh, man. Oh, what do we do? Sorry about the screw-up, sir. You were keeping him special last night. Oh, got it. Okay. Whew. We just needed a little time. Oh, so they are two seaters. Okay. Uh, well, he said a trainer, so I guess this is the this is the trainer plane. Yeah. If you come up here and show me where the throttle is in these things, I'm starting not to like you. What? Oh, I was gonna say that better be a joke because I think the throttle makes you go. How long is pilot school? Let's see what you got. You sure you're up to it? Bold thing to say to a general. North, take out those two vertical pockets up ahead. Oh, fun! Okay, fun, fun, fun! When he said live targets, I was like, who just volunteers to get shot down? If you don't cut it off, I'll screw up something else! Okay. Oh, he really stopped the music, but you need a music to plan your plan to save his dad. Shit! Okay, missed four out of four. Not doing great. Thank God. Cut it. You can't go in there with you shooting like this! Let him turn the music back on. And he's gonna hit, boom. I get it, I get it. Sometimes I just need the background music to occupy the rest of my brain while I use the one brain cell needed to focus. Yeah. <laughs> His little scream. Watching him roll like that makes my stomach turn and I'm not even in the plane. Proudberry keep on burning. Roll it, roll it. I cannot pay attention to this dialogue. Tina Turner is playing. They come at you straight like this. Well, now you better, you better eject the and start doing some back stroke. <laughs> Shut up, you're not funny. Now be careful to use a deep voice, otherwise they're gonna get wise that you're a kid. Oh, that's a good plan. This is the bluebird. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, I'd be scared of that voice. Look at you, sharp dressed man. Armament is requested and visually verified, sir. Nice. Good job. With you? As requested, I have a list here of times and coordinates all verified. How do you refuel a plane in the air? I've always said that a person should not be judged by their experience, but by their performance. And oh, that's nice. I would like to shake everybody's hand. I've never had a finer planning staff ever. Ever. Oh, this is precious. Stop it. Without you guys, there's, there's no way. <laughs> we know that. Eagles. Man, men are so different than women. We'd be in tears, be like, you are the sister I never had. So you are going to have to carry it. Carry what? The Hades bomb. A bomb? But they won't be able to see you or touch you for five minutes. But the bad point is that you won't be able to see them either. Oh, and after that five minutes, you're screwed. Once this fire goes out, if you are not in the air, you are a dead man. All right, no pressure. I don't know. I don't know either. You sure can't tell him the truth. Right, I was gonna say, so just call him, shoot the shit for a second, say I love you, and move on. I'll have Slappy talk to both of them after we have gone. Oh, yeah, well, it's better to ask for forgiveness instead of permission. Something tells me this man's final meal is not gonna be like a steak and a tater, you know what I mean? Watching a little TV. I don't need much sleep for this anyway. Oh, uh, you're carrying out a, an unauthorized mission? Sleep. I'm just ready for it, that's all. You ain't ready for shit, boy. Mm, mm. See, I'd cry immediately. Who are these guys? A bunch of kids that thought that they were ready too. Pilots? People that are dead? What makes them any different than me? Because they're dead! Oh, there, yep, there it is. They're dead. 
Why did you open the refrigerator? Did you get something out? Plots of them falling on the land, plots of them falling in the sea. Oh, stop. I can't. Talk about that. I promised myself that I'd never be a part of killing kids again. You were a part of killing children. Looks like I've got us both trapped in something that- They could kill us? Driving down the highway could kill you too! You're saving a life, homie. Maybe they weren't ready for it, but who in the hell is ever ready for it? Ooh, good quote. Maybe I'm not all that ready, but I'm damn proud. Aw, that's heartwarming. Just where do you think you're going? I just wanted to see what you were doing. Why don't you see what my pillow and bed is doing? Yeah, mind your business, kid. <laughs> that's my first pair. I want to loan them to you. Oh, that's so nice! Wings? How do you get wings? I guess the, your first time flying? It's sure is strange making you this tape. I just got finished talking to you. He's recording something for him? And I want you to know I'm proud to have been by your side. This is so nice! Take off. Oh, look at you! Fly a big boy plane with a bomb. <laughs> and relax till we hit the first refuel. Do I get to see how planes refuel? Come in real steady. Congratulations. You mean to tell me an airplane pulls up underneath another airplane and they have like a little airplane pee pee that goes in? So there's just airplanes out in the middle of the ocean that are carrying fuel all the time? Do you think he knows how much I really love him? He's about to know. I know it's only for my own good, but I never really told him I understood all that. He knows. Stop, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. You trying to make a man out of me too? No, your dad already took care of that. Mm. What if everything goes wrong? Then I'm gonna get real mad. <laughs> we'll be breaking our flight plans in about five minutes, so do your last minute verification. What does that mean? What does it mean? Armed and ready, armed and ready. Some stuff said off, but I assume that's normal when you're doing an undercover mission that's illegal to do. Time they figure out what's going on, we'll be over the coast. I just got so anxious when he said they're gonna know soon. I just got so anxious. Look at your fuel gauge. That's all you got too. Run out of either one of them. You are dead meat. Awesome, good. Okay. Just you and me, kid. Like, he can lose being Colonel. Like, he could get fired for this. Drop down to 400 feet. Keep under that or they'll pick you up on your radar. Okay, my heart is pounding for real. I'm so anxious. And make sure you line them up right in the spotter this time. And play the right music. There's too many things to remember right now. Hey, chap, I got something that'll help us make up some time. So keep the channel clear, all right? What's he gonna do? Song? Music? I can get used to that. I don't know what song it is yet. We really about to take down airplanes to go save this one person? Three MiGs have taken off. Well, hail them in the air. Just take out that runway. Stick to your plan, little guy. Okay, runway taken care of. except for all the people shooting from the ground. That was a good explosion for me. Wow. I love explosions. Chappy, I hit it. I got the runway in the plane. Pat yourself on the back later, now just worry about yeah, let's let's celebrate when we get your dad. We get back to the U.S. of A. safely. Glide, glide. Oh, I thought he said glide, but he said climb. My bad. You got it, Chappy. Come on. Was that Chappy? Was that Chappy? No, okay, we're good. Okay, sorry, I I got confused. What kind of gun is that on the roof? Oh, 
Oh, Chappy. Oh, Chappy. Chappy, I got him. I got all three of the guns. Yeah. But one of the guns got him. <laughs> we just said the same thing. What do we do now that Chappy's been hit? All right, follow me. Listen carefully. I want you to grab that tape I made you this morning and load it in. What? What's on it? Just do it! Anything happens to me, you climb as high as you can out of the range of those weapons and you play that tape. Oh my god, I'm gonna shit myself. Split off from me now! Chappie gonna sacrifice his life for that, du that dude's dad. I'm already calling it. Chappie ain't gonna make it out of this one. I haven't said anything because I'm just heavy breathing waiting to see who's gonna get who first. I'm scared for Chappie. Nice, nice, nice. Now get your dad. I told you, damn it. Put in that tape and don't worry about me. Oh, Chappie's gonna give himself up. Chappie's, Chappie's doing it. I'm so scared. Nice, Chappie, yes, baby. Okay, maybe Chappie's gonna be okay. Maybe Chappie's gonna be okay. Mayday. I was wrong, I was wrong. Chappie's not gonna be okay. Doug, I ain't gonna make it. He crash and then he's done? You gotta climb high, but you also gotta save your dad. A bunch of things must have gone wrong if you're listening to this. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> God doesn't give people things he doesn't want them to use. And he gave you the touch. What is the touch? It's all you need to blast your way in and get back what they took from you. At the expense of Chappie? Don't bother putting on this tape if you turn him back. Turn on your kick-ass music and do exactly that. Kick some ass. You gotta believe that plane you're in is like a suit of armor. Like an iron eagle that nothing can penetrate. Iron eagle! Just pretend I'm in that cockpit with you and we're still going in to knock the shit out of them together. I'm gonna cry! This is so nice! I want all anti-aircraft mobilized and... I want Defense Command to find- Oh yeah, I never thought about the fact that they could be moving the American to somewhere else. Never thought about that. They won't know how many fighters there are. They're never gonna think it's just you. Oh. Any of your rockets hit you, you'll be living permanently in them clouds. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So we've just accepted that Chappie's dead? Like he was headed toward the water. Like I, I, y'all know my saying, no body, no death. So I still have hope that Chappie's gonna be found alive. Whoa, their helicopters are skinny. <laughs> Communication tower out. Good job. Sent to recover Colonel Ted Masters, whom you are unlawfully holding prisoner. Also, this means you're probably going to get arrested. You're never going to fly again. <laughs> well, I'll have my squadron destroy the first of five strategic targets. What makes you think he's going to believe you, kiddo? I want an armed escort at the detention center standing by for my orders. See, like, they could just kill your dad now. Nothing's stopping them from killing your dad. Let's see how they feel about losing 100 million in oil. I was gonna say, you're really gonna blow up an oil rig now? Just by yourself? I'm going for the tanks. He's doing it. Wow. The explosions just keep getting better. Say at least 10 minutes. Later. Tell them to move faster or they'll hang. The whole place got blown up, buddy. They're moving them. Hey, hey we're working on it. You, you're you not going to make the jump. We're coming for you, buddy. Land, pick up your dad, and get your butt out of there. Keep track of your ammo. I'm right there with you. So the Hades bomb is just a distraction, right? It's not like a. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We only have like 20 minutes left in this film. Can you confirm any other planes? Nothing, sir. <gasps> now they know there's only one plane. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Kill him now. <gasps> oh my God. 
Don't forget you got the Hades bomb. You can use that whenever, probably. Good for you. Take it out. Take it out, homie. Take it out. Yeah, six different angles for that one explosion. I love it. Move your troops down the runway immediately. Finish off the American. Oh, 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 he's not dead yet. That's good. Drop the bomb, land, pick up your dad, go. Got it. The Americans must die, or none of you will live to regret your mistakes. Ooh, wait, scared. I was about to say, I don't know how long it takes for a car to blow up, but I feel like that's enough fire to do it. Dad! Doug? Doug, is that you? What the hell Dad! is it? Hey man, get your ass up, we gotta go. If the trucks didn't make it, what makes you think a motorcycle with a sidecar will? Where's your air support? Dead. Go, go, go. Go, go, go! They got old big boy coming through. Get him. Get down and get out of your flight suit now. What? Are you going to take the plane? You're going to do it yourself? I mean, we already know he can lock on target and get shit done. So, like, I'm not even stressed now. I'm more sad about Cappy. Chappy. The other guy. All right. You may deal directly with me now. That's crazy scary. So I guess this is the dog fight they were talking about earlier, like two fl planes up against each other like that. God, oh man, got him, come on now. God, this movie's gonna make me throw up. <laughs> got him, got him. And a bald eagle screeches in the background. <laughs> Is he gonna get to go supersonic? Later, do you read? They're all dead! They're Americans! Yeah! Well, I mean, you about to go to jail for a very long time, but you made it! You are following one of our F-16s in international airspace. International airspace did not stop them last time! Were you able to retrieve Colonel Masters? He's right here with me, Major. With the exception of Colonel Chappie. Did you find the wreckage, Major? Only parts of it, sir. Oh, no. Would it be okay if we flew the missing man formation for Colonel Sinclair? What does that mean? Like a formation to honor someone? Is that what that means? Good morning, Colonel Masters. This is Colonel... Oh goodness. That's really nice. Chappie didn't have to do all that. It's nice of you to join us for the occasion, Mr. Iron Eagle, sir. Chappie? <laughs> Chappie! But your dad said things didn't go easy for you either. Is dad coming to this? I'm so happy for Chappie! Hashtag happy for Chappie! <laughs> gonna put us in jail. Yeah, I've been saying that. Let's go. Oh yeah, y'all about to get your asses handed to y'all, I'll tell you that. I've read the statements of all the principals involved in this highly irregular operation. That's one way to put it. The penalty for such violations could incarcerate the two of you for the next 25 years. Oh, 25 years, that's it? Well, Chappie's gonna die in there. What in the hell are we supposed to do, General? Watch your mouth! Because if you talk about this operation to anyone, I will guarantee you those penalties will be imposed immediately. Now, hold on. What about the other kids that helped orchestrate this whole ordeal? Are they going to be charged? Begging the general's pardon, I urge you to reevaluate that decision. Letting this boy loose would be a big mistake. Chappy! You see, sir, Mr. Masters has applied to the Air Force Academy, an institution well suited for. <gasps> Chappy's going to get him into the Air Force! has just arrived from Ramstein Air Force Base. Fancy. 
Air Force sent a squadron of F-16s to mount a crippling attack on hostile... Yeah, and they lie. It was one guy. Incidentally, we've been told Doug has received an appointment to the U.S. Air Force Academy in... Ah, he got into the Air Force. I'm sure he can't wait to experience the thrill of flying some of the more advanced Air Force jets. Absolutely. He's never been in a jet before, ever before. <laughs> That's something. <gasps> he got him a jacket! Keep them. You've earned them. <gasps> oh, that's big special. What a sweet little reunion! And it's over! All right, let's talk about it. Hi, Ice007. You've been begging for this movie. Right, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Ashley, when she started this channel, was absolutely not ready for the Iron Eagle. She probably would not have enjoyed it as much as today Ashley did. And I made the comment that this was like Top Gun with the Jets mixed with the teenage angst of like Kevin Bacon and Footloose. This was so wholesome. And when I tell you I had real tears, I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but I had real tears swelling up in my eyes when like Chappie had recorded a part of the tape for the dude's dad, right? And I was like, man, they wouldn't have done this if Chappie was alive. And boy, how did Chappie was alive? What a good movie. I even, you know, even when um, I, I suggested this and even, even setting down to film this, I still wasn't sure. I still wasn't sure. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. So Top Gun was a lot of fun, right? Because Tom Cruise is cute. Goose was cute. You had the shirtless volleyball scene in Top Gun with Val Kilmer. Y'all know I love that man. So you had a lot of, like, sexy going on there. And that was not it here because he was supposed to be a child, right? But, like, the, the planning it out, the growing up, the coming of age, being responsible, you know, we're just going to ignore the fact that, like, he 100% would have been put in jail absolutely would have been put in jail and the colonel would have lost his flight privileges and probably also would have been put in jail. Like everything that happened was illegal, but it's a movie and it's cute and wonderful. This has the perfect mix of like action with, with family. It's <laughs> with family. Also, Ooh, I need to find out. Was that Jan from the office? That's absolutely Jan from the office. That's absolutely Jen from The Office. I love her. Okay, I don't think I've seen her in a movie before. Now, I've watched The Office all the way through several times, as most of us Office fans do. I've never seen her in a movie. I would love to see her in more movies, because she didn't really have anything to say much here. But hey, Jan. Anyways, you know what, Wayne? Thank you so much, number one, for supporting the channel and entering the Hello Beans giveaways, which I do every year, in case you're new here. But thank you so much for uh, playing along. And finally for getting me to watch Iron Eagle because in the email, Iron, Iron Eagle, Wayne tells me that Iron Eagle is the first of like a trilogy maybe of a few movies. And let me tell you something, if they're anything like this one, I absolutely would continue to watch them. This was a great movie. I would watch it again. Five out of five stars. I'm being honest with you. I had a great time. It was suspenseful. It had likable characters, a little family coming together. I ended up loving Chappie. At first he was a hard ass, then it came together. It was sweet, precious with adventure. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around, because coming up we got another Hello Beans winner, which is The Imitation of Life. And then, what else we got on the way? We got Blade. I know that for sure. Is that what's coming up? We got Blade coming up, we got Ford versus Ferrari, and we got Hook on the way as well. So that's what we got coming up for January, and plus a whole lot more. We're working through The Last of Us on Wednesdays. So I hope you like, subscribe, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTube-averse. And I'll see you back here Wednesday. Bye.